hello and welcome to another video in this video we will be doing a quick setup of a prometheus and grafana in axum i will be using docker containers to run uh, prometheus and grafana but if you don't want to deal with docker then you can just download their executables and the process remains same for whether you are using the docker or not so in our axum project we will be needing this crate this is axum prometheus uh, it supports various version of axum so based on the version of your axum project you can select the version of uh, this crate to add this crate i'll simply add this in our cargo.toml now let's go back to our main.rs inside main.rs first we'll need two variables prometheus layer and matrix handler next let's add this layer to our routes so this prometheus layer will capture all the data we also need to import this uh, prometheus metric layer and the handler will be used to uh, output the data on an endpoint so by default prometheus uses slash matrix endpoint so make sure to use the same and this is basically all the code we need to add in our application now all this code is from the documentation so you can also check it out there now let's move to prometheus and grafana if you want to install them on your machine then you can go on to their website and download them so if you have installed them on your machine you will have a prometheus dot YML file I don't have installed them I will be using docker so I'll create a new folder config inside which I'll create a prometheus.yml file so this will have all our configuration for uh, prometheus now let me just copy paste all the con config I need so in targets I have set host docker internal 3000 since I'm running prometheus inside the container uh, for it to access my local host I have to give this but if you're not using docker then you can replace host docker internal with simply localhost now let's fire up our prometheus so in this command you can see i have used this prometheus.yml uh, for configuration inside my container as well and also i have uh, mapped the port as well i don't have this image locally so it will look it up and on the docker hub and it will download and run this image So our docker container is working now let's move to our browser so if i open up my slash uh, matrix page then you can see it's uh, throwing all the data here but now let's go to our prometheus so we'll go to localhost 9090 and our prometheus is working let's select a matrix and fetch some data so you can see we have this data we can also get this on graph let me add some more by making few more requests So we have all the data here the request i made have uh, reflected here as well now prometheus does have this graph but it is not as good as let's say the grafana dashboard so we'll use that to better represent our data for grafana we'll again fire up a new container this time uh, keep in mind that the default port is 3000 for grafana but my application is running on port 3000 so i am mapping it to 3001 Again, I don't have the image for this uh, locally, so it will fetch the image from Docker Hub and uh, start up my container. Let's check our container using Docker PS and we have both of our containers running. Let's open up Grafana now. The default uh, username and password is admin admin. Now let's set up our new password here. Okay, here we need to add a new data source. We are using Prometheus. There are a lot of options, but we are using Prometheus. And now in connections, we will use uh, this address. So this 172.17.0.1 uh, is for uh, Docker containers. If you want to access Docker containers and 1990 is our port number everything else should stay the same now let's save it okay so it got our uh, prometheus api now we can build our uh, dashboard graphs and all so both our uh, prometheus and grafana are working perfectly with our exam application and now we can uh, use them to get a better insight in our application so that's all for this video
please give a thumbs up if you like this video and do consider subscribing.